Hey guys, it's your girl Chrissy J back at it again with another video. And today guys, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys something that just happened to me literally two days ago in my own neighborhood. So if you guys are interested in seeing this story time about how a Karen basically tried to kill me, then make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, and keep watching. I'm gonna be showing real videos, real receipts, and I'm gonna also be talking to you guys about my next plans and courses of actions in this situation. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I know what some of you are probably thinking. Oh, this is clickbait. She's just trying to get views. No guys. I'm doing this video because racism is still alive and these Karens are getting out of control. It's crazy because in my last video, then I just share a video about a Karen. I never expected to actually be dealing with one in my real life. So this is what happened guys. Basically on July 13th, I was home and I was with my friend Nature, who's also my manager and my other friend Celeste. We're about to go out, you know, girls day out, about to get something to eat. Basically, as we were pulling out, my little brother Malik then was pulling into his spot. He was playing music, but as he pulled up, he saw Nature, who he's cool with, so he turned down his music and started talking to her. As he went to go park, I noticed that Karen, this is her right here, who happens to be a neighbor of mine who I don't really speak to at all. She was a few doors down from me. She was saying something to my brother. My brother looked at her astonished like, what, what's, what's going on? But when I um, pulled down my window, she was nasty. And she said, turn that down. I don't wanna listen to that type of language over and over and over. Now, y'all know my brother Malik. I have talked to him, I've shown him in different videos and stuff. Malik is an 18 year old boy, okay? You wanna speak to somebody, you speak to me. I'm 24. So after, you know, she was saying that, I turned down again my window and I said, don't talk to him, talk to me. I'm the big sister. That is when Karen, and guys, I found out her name is actually Laura A. LaCrosse. If you guys wanted to know how she looks, here's her Facebook too. Um, Laura, who happens to be the Karen in this situation, started to say, to her started to get nasty. She started to be very disrespectful. And what I mean by that is she was putting up her middle finger towards me. She said, I don't wanna listen to that language. I don't wanna listen to that damn music. And what I said to her was, I said, he lives here. He can play whatever he wants. My mother pays the same property taxes as you. Mind you, we've been living in this townhouse in my neighborhood for about three years. As she continued to put her middle finger up at me and be rude and disrespectful, I got out of my car because I was getting annoyed at that part. And I'm asking, what are you saying? Um, I said, what you said, Karen? I said it multiple times. She said, where are you calling me? What you call me? I said, I called you a Karen. She then, I guess, tried to use a, she tried to use a derogatory term for a black person and said, bye Felicia. Bye Felicia. Bye Felicia. <laughs> bye, Felicia. As she swept dirt and threw an acorn at me, guys. Yes. She threw an acorn at your girl, Chrissy J. What are you gonna do with the stick? What are you gonna do with it? This is crazy. Just throw it. I don't want to hear that man. No, she did not. And it took everything in me to restrain myself. After she threw the acorn and um, dirt at me, debris, as if I was an animal, that's when I started to get very upset. Um, I was angry. She threatened to call the police on us. Um, at that point, I took out my phone, I called my mother. Um, she kept going in and out of her house, antagonizing me. Because I called my mom, my mom was like, I'm on my way, and she informed me to call the police. 
call the police. Um, I let them know, I'm like, hey guys, I'm, you know, it's another Karen here. I let them know the whole situation. She then proceeded to come out the house, guys. And I kid you not, she stood in her doorway with a stick and held it like this. So at first glance, guys, I'm thinking, I'm like, is that a gun? And she was like, ha ha, of course you would think it's a gun. Just the fact that you have, that you think that you have that privilege to even joke like that is sick. Because had it been a black person doing that to her, they would have tried to search my house for guns or something. Like she really was like antagonizing me. She came back out and started to record my car. And um, I had got my car right before quarantine. So I, the, the dealer basically didn't send me my official plates yet. She recorded the back and she said, oh, she doesn't even have a license plate. She's illegal. She does not belong here. And I was just in shock. Um, I got out. I said, I'm illegal. Because at this point, I felt as though she was talking to me as I was, as like, I'm unintelligent, guys. So I got out the car and I was like, I'm illegal. I have two degrees and I live right here. So don't talk to me like that. She then proceeded to say, I have two degrees too. One in special education. That's how I know how to talk to you. At that point, I was beyond disgusted, beyond annoyed. So then that's when she decided to get in her car. She started recording from her window. And as we're waiting for the police to get there, because again, we're waiting for the police, she started to drive around the neighborhood looking at us. I don't know if she was trying to see if the police were really coming or intimidating. After that, she, we still waiting for the cops, mind you. Standing outside, I'm beyond livid. She also stated that this neighborhood got so ghetto. This used to be a good neighborhood, which again, is just like sick to me because since I've been here, we basically lived in this community. So I, I was just so, I don't even wanna say hurt, I was angry because you know, I remember hearing stories like this from my great grandma about how, you know, she would get spit on as she walked to school in the ditch. And here you have this Karen here, Laura LaCrosse, who is speaking to me in such a demeaning manner. It is like sick to me and it boiled my skin. She came back, right, parked. And again, that's when I recorded her license plate number because she had mine. She then came back out again, got in her car. And before she got on her car, she was in on the phone like, with somebody and said if they're still here by time you know we get back then i need you to call your friend and me and my brother's like call your friend call whoever please please do because at that point y'all the brooklyn was coming out call who call who i don't take threats lightly as she drove off right before the cops got here she then tried to run me over with her car yes guys I am not lying. She tried to run me over with my with her car. Y'all saw that, right? She tried to hit with her car, y'all. Like literally hit me. And the cops came. I showed them the video, and again. Um, that's when they stated that they were going to file a harassment charge as well as a reckless driving charge. What upsets me is that my brother is a young boy, he's 18, he's smart, he is practicing football so he can play football, he's in college, he's an essential worker, and to come home at, mind you guys, this was 4.15 in the afternoon, to come home and have somebody discriminate you like that is sick to me. What if I wasn't there and and she called the police on my brother and they didn't believe him? What? I know y'all remember that young black boy who got shot in his car for playing his music too loud. So when I heard this immediately, that's what I thought of and that's why I went into big sister defense mode. So nobody's going to be disrespecting my brother like that. <sighs> um. Also guys, update, literally, like I said, this video was recorded on July 13th, right? Today's July 15th. Last night when my brother was pulling up home, he wasn't even blasting music, he was on the phone. And the same lady, Laura LaCrosse, called the police on my brother and stated that his music was so loud that her house shook.
mind you, she lives about four or five houses down. So if that's the case, then everybody in, in, in our whole in our whole area would have complained. My mother would have complained. So when the cops showed up last night to the house, you know, to basically let us know what had happened, at that point, it was like all bars, all it's no whole bars anymore. I want Laura LaCrosse to face some type of consequence, period. Because this is unacceptable, you know? This is a hate crime, basically. She keeps calling the police, trying to, you know, basically intimidate us, trying to get, you know, reports in to make it look like something. Who knows what she can do? Which is why I'm putting out this video today. Um, again, like I said, guys, the full video is on my IGTV and you guys, it's on my Instagram at the Chrissy J show. And again, I'm going to include the link and you guys can please tag any media outlet underneath. That's my, been my next course of action. I basically have been tagging the shade room, ball alert, spiritual word, um, world star hip hop, the neighborhood talk Two, Sean King. Karen's going wild. I have sent this video out to multiple people and I just want to say thank you guys so much for the love that I've received and that my family has received on the video thus far. On Instagram, I think it's got like over 5k views right now. On Facebook, it's got um, almost 2k views and has a lot of shares. Let's get Miss Laura LaCrosse the attention that she deserves because clearly she did this because she has an issue. So guys, um, J Gang, if you really want to support me and be there for me, what I ask that you guys do is please click that IGTV video, share it, tag as many um, social media outlets as you can. Let's get this Karen out here because this Karen needs to calm down because she messed with me and my family to the point where now my mom is out here looking for ring doorbells that have video and audio on it because she's scared that she might try to do something to my brother or myself okay that's how it's become this is a neighborhood where you can leave your door open that's what we thought and now we have to get a whole high-tech alarm system with a video camera and stuff because we don't feel safe Black Lives Matter, this occurrence of overt racism is sick to me because it is now more open than ever. If you don't think that there's a problem, you're bugging. I never thought that I would have an experience with a Karen, but I did, but I did. So imagine all the situations that are happening that aren't being recorded. Yeah, guys. That is my story time about how Karen tried to kill me. She tried to run me over, got the videos, got everything. Um, again, if you guys want to help me bring this Karen down, the link is in my description below, guys. Okay, please share the link. Tag any social media outlet that you can. And let's give this Karen the attention that she deserves. Oh, another thing too, guys, there's people out here that are saying, oh, if it was me, I would have beat her up, out of da, and out of smile, and I would beat her out of da. Do y'all not think I did, I wanted to put her hand, my hands on her? Like, people who know me or know Chrissy back in the day know that I don't take no shorts from anybody. Calling me Muhammad Ali after my fights, like, really? Of course I wanted to call, I mean, of course I wanted to beat her ass. But I couldn't because she would have then called the police on me and I would have been in jail for assault. And she's already got more points than me because she's white. So I had to play it like that. I had to restrain myself from really wanting to beat her up. Because if you want to be tentacle, if the situation was reversed and I was throwing acorns and dirt at her, I would have probably been in jail too. But again, I'm black and she's white. She'll always have an advantage over me just because of this. So to all those, who, again, who's saying, oh, you should be able to again, think technically, you got to beat them here. You got to beat them with this. Last thing I want to say before I leave you guys is that I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for all the black people who have been intimidated, threatened overtly by these Karens that don't get justice. And I want justice. I'm not doing this for clout. I'm not doing this so I get subscribers, all that. I could give a damn. I'm doing this because what if something would have happened to my little brother? 
or me or my mom or any other black kid in my neighborhood or black kid period so to all those who might think that i'm doing this for clout no baby i'm doing this for justice but thank you guys again so much for um taking the time to watch this video again the link to the official video is in my description please guys let's get this karen out of here and last thing calm down karen